Interesting one with TMOs. A lot of debate about it. It was too long with Yako Piper on, on Friday night. But the problem we've got here is we've got the technology and we want the right decisions to be made under pressure. We want the right team to have their hands on the Web Ellis Cup come October the 31st. And this tournament will be decided in the small margins on the fact that did Matawalu ground that ball? The option to look back and see that Nakataki didn't quite ground it for France against Italy and that ability to go back and look at those big decisions. The problem is it has to be a more fluid decision-making process and I think for that you simply have to watch Wayne Barnes referee New Zealand against Argentina at Wembley where he was communicating with his TMO whilst the game was going on, allowing the TMO on his multi-screen um, access to look and ponder over certain decisions whilst the game was flowing. And if it needed it, intervention, he stepped in and said, Wayne, intervention is needed. Other than that, the game continued. So um, we're attracting new players. We're attracting new watchers. 450 million people watched the opening game. And we don't want it to be a stop-start game without any flow or rhythm. Uh, can they achieve that while at the same time getting the right decision with the TMO, absolutely. But the blueprint has to be the Wayne Barnes style.